All right guys, welcome to the video. In today's video, we actually have a lot to talk about in this video. Um, so essentially, a lot has happened to the car since I've been in DC. I'm gonna start this video off with basically almost not really a desperate call for help, but uh, definitely a, basically just me asking you guys uh, what I should do. I need tires. Um, I, my tires, I knew that they were wearing a little bit uneven. Uh, I don't really know if I destroyed my tires from the fact that I lowered my car and I never got my alignment properly done I just kept putting it off and putting it off and I didn't realize how bad it was getting until basically I did the drive down to North Carolina as you guys may have seen my last video uh, then I drove three hours from Lynchburg to be in DC um, so basically I have done a decent amount of driving and all last summer I drove and I'm not gonna lie it's basically on me if I did ruin the uh, tread wear I'm not exactly sure what the manual says about how long my tires should have lasted from the factory uh, I don't really drive a lot there's only about 32,000 miles on a car right now uh, I got the car in late 2015 um, so you know you guys can tell me if uh, they I shouldn't need new tires or maybe if I did screw my tires up faster I believe maybe I should have got 45,000 miles out of it I'm not sure um, but essentially guys I am looking for tires um, if you guys have any recommendations, essentially my idea for getting wheels and tires was I decided that I was going to wait till my tires ran out. Uh, but like I said, since this whole tire situation has really happened so fast and so unexpectedly, um, I really kind of in a situation where I need tires now. Thankfully, uh, I'm in DC, so I'm not really driving my car. Uh, I've been taking the metro, which is basically the subway going, uh, taking that and taking lifts and scooters and whatever I need to. Um, just in general, because I don't want to drive my car here uh, because it's really hard to find parking. Um, just for starters, uh, if you guys, I didn't tell you guys the story at all, but essentially I got to DC and I understood, you know, me being from Charlotte, uh, which isn't a big city, but it's, it's a pretty decent sized city. You know, I understand that city parking is different, that you have to pay here, you can only stay here a certain amount of time. But DC, guys, it is ridiculous in DC. Like, you can only be uh, somewhere so long, and the street sweepers come around, and I was just really desperate for a lot to park my car. Um, so eventually I found a lot just to put the car, like I said, I didn't even want to drive the car, um, and I'm taking the metro places now, but just even having a car here, especially a car that you care about, if you're a car enthusiast, and you're in DC I would love to see how you guys do it especially if you don't have your own house or whatever um, you basically have to find a parking garage or something and it's it's not cheap I mean parking your here is not parking your cars here is not cheap along with the fact if you're paying your car payment you're doing your insurance and you're not even driving your car guys that is some very expensive stuff but essentially I mean the car has been sitting in a lot for a while I do drive it just about every two weeks to one week just to make sure you know it still starts up and runs a bit um, I'm inside this garage now as you guys can see coolest place I could think of I was gonna go to the top of the garage and I was like there's no reason for me to sweat through this video um, but that's basically my first thing that I wanted to mention in this video guys was I am desperately needing tires if you guys have any recommendations essentially I'm just looking for a tire that uh, it's kind of similar to the stock tires. I personally don't think the stock tires are great, but they're not bad. They did the job. You still have traction, but you can still break free if you want. Um, the tread life was still pretty good. Like I said, this next time when I do get my tires, I do plan on getting the alignment. Um, that's just one of those things, guys. I, I was dumb on my part. Uh, but I do plan on getting alignment this time. So uh, definitely want the tires to last longer. Um, I'm going to show you guys some pictures or uh, try and throw some clips here. That way you guys can see what the tires are looking like. Um, but I basically am not trying to drive because I am showing cord on the tires. Uh, but onward to my next topic of this video. Something I'm not really happy about. I'm not really bummed about. Um, like I said, guys. Uh, my car did receive some damage from being in DC. When I first got here to DC, I was very almost intrigued. I thought it was funny or thought it was weird that some of these cars had these uh, bumper guards on the back of them. And I, they're like these little plastic guards and I didn't exactly understand what they were um, and why people would need them. I'm like, can people really not park here? And guys, someone did, I, I don't know how it happened. I know for a fact it wasn't me. Someone did, um, damaged the back of my vehicle i don't think someone ran into the back of me but somehow the back of my car is nicked i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this damage right here um it's not bad as you guys can see right there what well, hold on there we go. i went too high sorry uh the damage is right there it's not that big um not that bad uh, i'm trying to focus in on you guys so the you guys can see that right there um i'm not sure it looks repairable i don't need a whole new bumper 
Um, I'm not even sure how to fix that, if I could do that myself or if I had to go to a paint shop. Um, if you guys want to throw in any suggestions about that yourself, uh, if you have any know-how or any know any shops that could do that, or even if a shop could even fix it, or if it's just one of those little nicks that's just going to be there. Uh, and I'm actually noticing this guy right here. I didn't notice that till now, till I started filming. But uh, like I said, I don't think someone ran into the back of me. Maybe someone did, but there's definitely a little nick here, um, which sucks because no one, especially like I said, if you're a car guy, no one wants to have their car damaged. You know, it's something I. I uh, work hard to keep clean, uh, basically just keep in a pretty good condition. The car is not perfect. I do try and take care of it to the best of my ability. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, some people be all upset. Um, some people get all emotional. At the end of the day, yes, it is just a car. Uh, I don't fall in love with material objects, but definitely does suck to see the car. Um, someone hit it like that. Like I said, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, but other than that, guys, the car has been in pretty good condition. Uh, like I said, it just took a while to find parking. Um, I need tires. Uh, everything's fine. The oil has been changed. Um, everything's been good. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about next is the actual tune that I put on the car in the last video. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put the link down in the description that where you guys can go watch it. Essentially, I just put a new gas mod tune, the MPT 87 octane gas mod tune on the vehicle. Um, you know, in that video, I basically at the end, if you don't remember, I was basically kind of lost for words. I didn't know how to really describe the tune. Um, you know, it was just one of those things where I compare, it wasn't my normal drive basically from Lynchburg to Charlotte. Um, I will say uh, in that video, if I didn't go more in detail about it, um, I'll tell you guys now, the actual car, I'll say in the lower RPMs, feels slower, not slower, um, but the gas mileage, or the sorry, the gas pedal reaction feels slower. So I'm not sure if that's where MPT really, uh, and I'm sure there's some other timing things that may change that tune just to make the car run more fuel efficient. But what I could definitely tell just from my initial driving was feeling the actual pedal. So say you're, um, I'll give you guys an example here because obviously you guys can't drive my car to figure it out. Uh, uh, basically, if I go halfway throttle on my 87 or 93 tune that's not gas mileage, if I go half throttle on that um, and I go half throttle on uh, the gas mileage tune, the car is not going to pick up as fast. It's almost like it kind of reduces the amount of throttle input basically. So the throttle body is not opening up as much. I feel like that's kind of a way that they, um, you know, try and limit the amount of gas uh, basically by limiting your throttle response. Now when you put your foot, I'd say about three-fourths of the way down, then the car does actually start to wake up and go. Um, but I definitely will say in the city and your lower RPM driving, I'd say honestly under 3,000 you really do feel all of that, you know, sluggishness and I wouldn't say sluggishness in a bad way but you can tell that the car is running different whether it just be you know I'm not sure exactly what they did uh, that's just my theory like I said I bet there's all types of timing and stuff with that um, but that's basically my initial or some additional impressions on that um, like I said I definitely do want to do a testing video uh, some full throttle. I have not done a full throttle pull at all in the car on this new tune. Um, one, because I just haven't had the time. Two, I need tires. Um, so that will be coming soon. As soon as I get my tires, should be within either the next week or the next two weeks here. Because, like I said, I do have to go down to Lynchburg before the month of July ends here. So it will be pretty quick. But if you guys have any um, tire accommodations or even if you guys know someone who's selling wheels and tires, uh, hit me up. I'm definitely looking to spend around 1200 is my max on wheels and tires if you guys know anything. Uh, if not, I just might pull the trigger on tires and just wait till uh, wheels come around. Um, but that's basically it for today's video. Uh, if you have any comments for me, like I said, please comment down, to, uh, down below. Suggest some tires for me guys because I'm just looking for something that's around the stock tire, something that has good traction and still lasts a long time. A quiet tire too. That's one thing. Um, had to, had to uh, emphasize because uh, some tires, you know, be great and uh, they're loud as heck. I don't want to be in my car, you know, that's the reason why I have my boiler exhaust because uh, I don't like drone, you know, I do these long drives. I don't want to have any type of extra noise. So quiet tires as well. Um, but definitely go ahead and give me some recommendations. Other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys in another video.